Doors. Open. Thank you, sir. because of your leadership. So I uh, can't thank you enough. Uh, business folks who are here and Kenyan leaders said, we're ready to partner. Nearly 100% green grid. American businesses have a desire to invest more. <laughs> Mr. President, I can't thank you. I think of a better way to kick off this visit. When I uh, visited Nairobi as vice president, I said that the true strength of, uh, of Kenya was its people uh, and uh, the students, workers, founders, activists, and in innovators, entrepreneurs, and so many people like you who really do, do depend on democracy and support democracy. Thank you. And uh, today, as we honor 60 years of ties between our countries, it's clear that our people are the true strength of this partnership and, uh, and a partnership that's working well. Nowhere is it more important than in the realm of innovation. That's why we have so many business leaders around this table. From Silicon Valley to Silicon Savannah, uh, our people have brought us forward and they have pioneered new technologies that are transforming millions of lives. I mean, literally millions of lives is going to go beyond that. And we've invested in new industries that have uh, generated billions of dollars economically. And they've created new opportunities that have lifted up our countries uh, across both our continents. And uh, our people and our innovators have uh, also brought together. Uh, uh, we are all excited about this. I mean, I've not seen my team so excited about uh, a visit in a long time. Uh, and I think it's all because of the American companies that are here. But uh, oh, I'm not kidding. As and for President, as you and I discussed, uh, we'll discuss tomorrow, we're launching a new era of technology, technological cooperation between Kenya and America, including new exchanges and investments in key fields of cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, and semiconductors. And uh, this progress is thanks in large part to the leaders around this table. So my message is really straightforward and simple. Thank you, and thank you, and keep it up. We're going to see more technological change in the next 10 years. I've been saying this a long time, and I mean it, than we've seen in the last 50 years. And we need your help to seize this moment. We really do. And uh, we, need your we need you to help us find opportunities to bring the public and private sectors together. And we need you to help us strengthen the supply chains and industries of the future, including clean energy and e-commerce as well. And we need you to keep investing in the diversity of our democracies, which will make this innovation possible. So in return, I promise we'll prioritize technological partnerships between our countries. And Mr. President, under your leadership, we believe that as we celebrate these 60 years of relationship between our two countries, we also celebrate the opportunities that come with a friendship that uh, exists between our two countries. And as you have said correctly, the space around artificial intelligence, space around cybersecurity, and investments that come with it, we are expanding our footprint in the digital space. We are rolling out 100,000 kilometers of fiber optic in Kenya and connecting every ward and every village to uh, fiber backbone to make sure that e-commerce, digital jobs, and digital learning, we can access to every child in Kenya. And 
we are very proud that we are going to work with American companies. Last uh, month, Secretary Raimondo was in Kenya, and we agreed with her on the kind of investments, the level of investment, the type of investment that needs to be fashioned between our two sides. And my being here today is a confirmation that we are moving from ideas into action and from opportunities into investments. And hopefully, we will be able to sign off some of those investments. We have semiconductor companies here from Kenya. We have large corporates, uh, fintech corporates in Kenya, one of them M-Pesa, and we are going to be discussing the opportunities in that space, and I look forward, Mr. President, to consummating some of the discussions around this table into concrete investments going into the future. Thank you all.